Okay. Uh, thank you all for those who have made time to be here. My name is Lucy Mutemi, for those who may not know me. And uh, today is the day that we do our product training. We're going to see if we can train on two products, if possible. I'll start with AB Fibery. And uh, we have another coffee called Butterscotch Coffee. If we're able to, if we have time, we'll go through that. But if we don't, at least we'll have done the, the AG Fibery, which is a product I love very much. I want to ask you to mute yourselves, please. Let me just mute Mary so that we can get started and allow me to share what I want to take you through. Aha, uh -huh. very good. So I hope you can see that image. Can you see that image? Yes, we can. Very good. So that is AG Fibery. It's one of our very, very amazing product. Um, as you can see there, it says AG Fibery, feel good and look good. And uh, some of its benefits are to maintain bowel health, to lower cholesterol levels, to control blood sugar levels, to maintain healthy weights, and of course, to improve the digestive system. And that's how the product looks like, AG Fibery. It looks like that. So that's one of our amazing products. And before we get into it, we just want to understand because it's called AG Fibery, Fib Fibery, I suppose coming from fiber. And uh, what is a dietary fiber? It's a type of a carbohydrate found in natural, naturally in plant-based foods that are not digestible in humans, but very important. And you can see examples of uh, where the fiber may be found in whole grain, in nuts and seeds, in fruits, and in vegetable. We keep saying all the time, these are very rich with fiber, very important for the, you know, for your digestion, but not digestible, but they help with digestion. And of course, there's soluble fiber, and that is soluble fiber attracts water and forms a gel, and the gel causes a slow of digestion, which is beneficial for weight loss. And of course, foods high in uh, fiber, the soluble fiber include, includes the oats, the legumes, the edible plant skins, and nuts. And you see what it does. It will help maintain blood glucose level. It will help give you a feeling of fullness. And of course, it will balance your cholesterol level and adds bulk to your stool, and which helps with digestion, with passing your stool. Aha. Then we go to insoluble fiber and we can see, so the other one was soluble fiber, but this insoluble fiber re repels water. And it is found in foods such as vegetables, veggies, fruits, nuts, and seeds wheat bran and whole grain foods like the whole wheat pasta, brown rice, all those sort of things. And of course its primary benefit again is to add bulk to stool and aid in the movement through the digestive tract. Okay, this is the one that adds bulk. So there it is, smooth digestive tract, prevent constipation and regulate your blood glucose. So, benefit of the dietary fiber and what it does, it will help lower risk to heart disease, stroke benefits of it, you know, help you prevent stroke, obesity, uh, high blood pressure, diabetes and digestive disorder. So we'll address that as we go along. And uh, here we have, Again, fiber. Again, what does fiber do? It expands and bulks your food. 
in the in the digestive system, uh, thereby slowing down digestion. And that, of course, as we said earlier, gives you a feeling of fullness and stabilize your blood sugar levels. And they are said that food high in fiber can also, they, they also tend to lower, uh, to be lower in energy density, meaning they will help you feel fuller, yes, without consuming excessive calories. That's why we encourage to eat a lot of fiber or enough fiber. Aha. So what are digestive disorders? So that we can understand the place for AG fiber and why fiber is very important. So I looked at this diagram and I wanted to understand what are these things I'm seeing here. As you can see, that is the digest, I think the your, your digestive system, your intestines, and they look like they have some you know, wounds or something. And I wanted to know what are what are all these things because I'm not a medic, but it's important to know these things. And so I came across these words, diverticular. That's one word I came across. I came an across another one, diverticulitis and diverticulosis. And I wanted to understand what are these? Because without understanding our body, then sometimes, oops, we may not understand, uh, you know, whether we really need to do anything or what we need to do. I think it's important to just know uh, your body. And so I looked at the meaning of all this and I realized uh, before I even go to that diver, diverticular, uh, I came across a word called diverticum. Diverticulum. Eh, these things are hard. D-I-V-E-R-T-I-C-L-U-M, which I discovered is a small pouch, small little swelling sort of, with a narrow neck that protrudes. It protrudes from the wall of the gut or the wall of the intestine. That's what that is. And that was important to know what that one is. It's not written here, but it was important to know that. And so, so what then is a diverticular? Diverticular means that there are more, there are more, there's more than one diverticulum. So the first one that I said that ends with a lum, L-U-M, when it's diverticular, it means that there are more than one of the first one. And this can develop in any part of the gut, that is your intestine, mostly usually in the colon. Sometimes, and the colon is sometimes called the large bowel or the large intestine. And it mostly develops in the section of the colon leading towards the back passage, which is the rectum. And this is where the stool or feces uh, you know, become solid. So that's that's uh, that's where this diverticular can develop. Okay. Then we are told that uh, you know I went a little bit further to find out how many people get this, and there was a research done in the UK. That's a research I could find where it says that half of the people there, by the time they are fifty, they actually develop diverticular. And by the time, and, and, and nearly seven, seven out of 10, in, or rather seven in 10 people, by the time they are 80, they have something else called diverticulitis. No, diver, yeah, diverticular. Diverticulitis, I think. They have that by the time they are 80. So I wanted to know what causes this diverticular. Because why was this drink put here? It was for us to understand it and to, to research a little bit. And they say it's probably not related to not eating enough fiber. And of course, as I said earlier, fiber is part of the food, not digested. You know? So I needed to understand that then what happens? Now your gut or your intestines moves when you eat your food, it, it moves your stool what is waste, you know, along the digestive system, along the intestines, while squeezing the, gently squeezing the muscular wall. And if you don't take enough, you know, 
of the fiber, this stool tends to be drier and smaller and more difficult to move it along. Let's uh, let me mute ourselves. Galaxy J. Aha. So this tool, as I as I just repeated, it tends to be drier and smaller and more difficult to move along if you don't have enough fiber. Okay. So you find that the gut muscles, your intestine muscles, have to work harder to move that stool because there's little fiber. And that high pressure, because now they are working harder, so there's high pressure, it may, you know, may develop in parts of your gut where it squeezes the, the gut, the, the stool. And this increased pressure may push the, the lining, the inner lining of the small, uh, the inner lining of your gut through the muscular wall to form the diverticulum. Yani when you don't go to the, when you when you're not eating fiber enough fiber you 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 make your system have to work harder and that leads to it forming these protrusions because you're not there's not enough fiber so they, 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 they you keep getting these small protrusions forming just because you're not eating enough fiber and of course i wanted to understand then what is this diverticulosis diver Diverticulosis. I'm telling you, when you're not a medic, you really have to understand these things. Hmm? So that means that you could be having a diverticular. They are present, but they don't give you any problems. You know, most three to three in four people who develop the diverticular have no symptoms. And sometimes this this diverticular only discovered if. If they go for some test, maybe they were checking something, maybe they do a, a colonoscopy and then they are discovered, okay? But the diverticulo, uh, diverticulos, diverticulitis, the one above the diverticulosis, that one above there, it occurs when this diverticular gets infected, one or two, one or more gets infected. And how does it get infected? How does this diverticular get infected? If some fiber is trapped in those diverticular, some bacteria, some germs, if, if the, your stool has some germs, it, if there are some that are trapped in your stool and they go and get stuck there, they can multiply and cause an infection. Can you imagine? And once they cause an infection, you tend to have pain in the abdomen. Some of the symptoms you may feel is pain in the abdomen, mostly on the lower left side, you know, although it can still occur in other areas, in any other part of the abdomen, you'll feel bloated. You could have a high temperature because now, of course, there's that bacteria there, constipation, diarrhea, when you go to the loo, some of your stool could be mixed with blood. You end up feeling sick and nauseated. Sometimes you vomit, you know. And sometimes these symptoms, I understand, are very similar to a condition called irritable bowel syndrome. They can be, they, they are almost the same. Although my research showed that that irritable bowel syndrome sometimes tends to affect the younger adults. And this diverticular tends to affect the older people. If you feel like that, my suggestion is, number one, you need to see a doctor. You know, I just came across this and I, I have a few friends who sometimes describe some of these symptoms and I, I just didn't know what it was all about. But my study shows that, of course, it's very important to see a doctor so that they can be able to diagnose you. But it's, 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 it's important to know that this can actually happen to you when you're not eating enough fiber. So anyhow, so what can you do about it? What, what do you do? What, how do you prevent? Because what we are looking at is something to prevent you from having these problems. But if you have them, then what do you do about it? So we have a product called AG Fibery. And AG Fibery has a few ingredients 
actually I didn't read them out, but let me just read them out. And one of them is uh, xylem husk. There's inulin. There are digestive enzymes, we'll see them. Uh, there's something called resistant malto, maltodextrin, and there's papain. And these, most of them are, are, uh, are enzymes. So we want to see then what are they and how can they help us, you know, not get those, those, those issues I've just mentioned there. So you find that this, uh, I think it's pronounced xylem, is a form of dietary fiber made from some husks found in some seeds called uh, plantagon or vata. Traditionally, they've been used as bulk forming laxative, which, pro, you know, which will promote water absorption and aids in bowel movement. They are also a prebiotic source that can nourish the growth of good bacteria in your, in your intestines. And some of the benefits are, you know, health, heart health, you know, and studies have been shown that uh, at least six weeks of taking this xylem uh, is effective in lowering cholesterol levels. They help manage your weight by giving you the feeling of fullness. Remember, this is a fiber and they help with diabetes by maintaining, you know, healthy balance of insulin and blood sugar. So I wanted to know uh, what it is. Again, I just wanted to research a little bit more. And uh, I've seen after diabetes, they can, it can help relieve both constipation and diarrhea, used to treat the irritable bowel syndrome, hemorrhoids, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a fiber. It's, it's like any other source. It, okay, it is a, it's a fiber that is a like, it can be sourced from other foods like oats, barley, nuts, seeds, beans, lentils, peas, some fruits and vegetables. So it's very important. It will help manage those uh, few conditions I've talked about. And that's one of the ingredients found in AG fibery. Uh -huh. Then we can move on to the next one we see. And this is another fiber called inulin. And inulin, as we can see from here, will also improve your digestion, increase mineral absorption. Uh -huh. It will also, it has a prebiotic, it's a prebiotic source for, that nourishes the growth again of good bacteria in the intestines. It will improve your digestive system, relieves constipation, promotes weight loss, help control diabetes and improve mineral absorption and bone health. Okay. It's, it stays in the bowel and helps, con, you know, you know, help certain but beneficial bacteria to grow in the, in the bowel. And it's a starch substance found in a wide variety of fruits, vegetables and herbs, including wheat, onions, bananas, leeks. It can prevent overeating. You know, I said it's a soluble fiber. And when mixed with water or other fluids in your body, it turns to gel. And that gel makes your, your stomach empty slowly, thereby giving you the feeling of fullness. And that's why it's very good for weight loss. So that's in inulin that is found in AG fibery. That is a root called chicory root that uh, weight comes from as well. And then thereafter, we have some certain enzymes, actually all the enzymes, digestive enzymes are also contained in our, in our AG fibery. And uh, the enzymes are amylase, protease, lipase, cellulase, lactase. And they support the digestive tract system, a function, they assist in breaking down carbohydrates, lipids, cellulose, and protein. And they also relieve muscle sore. Okay, 
and of course they are pro the enzyme production increases liver function. So we want to see these enzymes one by one. There's one called amylase and it breaks down carbohydrates. Amylase is the enzyme that breaks down carbohydrates. It's an enzyme or a special protein and most of it, most of the amylase you have in your body is made by your pancreas and the salivary glands. And it will help digest carbohydrates as written there. So that's you know, simply just understand that it will help digest carbohydrates. Then we have another enzyme called cellulase. And this is essential. So it's an enzyme that is essential in you know, digesting your fruits and vegetables. And um, it's produced by fungal. You don't produce it yourself. It's produced by fungal, bacteria, plants, animals, protozoas. We don't produce it naturally, but we need it because it will break down the fruits and vegetables so that we can absorb the nutrients that are there. And uh, it will help control your sugar levels and preserve a balanced cholesterol level. So that is cellulose. Uh, generally, it is good for helping digest your nutrients and fruits. I mean, nutrients uh, or rather uh, digest your fruits and vegetables. Uh, let me go down here. I think I came here next. Protease. It's another enzyme that breaks down uh, proteins and it supports the immune system. It breaks down the proteins by making them smaller, making them into amino acids. Then the body is able to, to uh, digest that. It's made by animals, plants, fungal, bacteria. It's produced in the stomach and the pancreas and the small intestine. It allows for digestion of protein as written there, absorption of amino acids, it boosts the immune, the immune function, as you can see. It promotes cardiovascular health. It accelerates tissue repair and possibly prevent colon cancer. So that's protease. Uh, next we have lactase. And lactase is another enzyme and its work is to break down lactose, which is the milk sugar and very useful for those people who are lactose intolerant. It is produced in the, in the lining of the small intestine. And what it does, it, it splits the lactose, that milk sugar into small sugar molecules so that it can be digested. But if you have lactose intolerant, it's because you're not able, you know, when you're lactose intolerant, you're not able to produce enough lactase on your own. And when, when you meet people who tell you they don't like milk, most likely they can't, they are lactose intolerant. They'll tell you they take anything with milk, they feel bloated after a few minutes or so. Some will diarrhea, uh, the, the bloatedness may take long to get out of the system their stomach gets very bloated and it takes a long time. It's very uncomfortable. I happen to be lactose intolerant. So I know for me, this made, this was a, a big moment for me when I realized that AG Fibery has lactase. It has really helped my family, myself and my daughter. But we'll talk about that later. And then we have another uh, enzyme called lipase. And uh, it breaks down lipids, improves fat utilization, and supports a healthy, uh, healthy gallbladder function. Uh, it it basically uh, is used to break down fat in your food so that they can be absorbed by the in, you know absorbed in the intestines. In in the intestines, it is produced in the pancreas, mouth, and stomach. And if you don't get enough of it, then it will cause poor fat absorption, which will lead to diarrhea and fatty bowel movement. You know, 
So in general, if, if your pancreas, you can see that the pancreas really is very important in producing some of these enzymes. And if it does not produce enough enzymes, then you'll find that uh, enough enzymes to digest your food, then you find that you cannot be able to absorb the necessary nutrients and vitamins. And this will lead to diarrhea, to vitamin you know, deficiency and weight loss. So it's very important that we're able to have enough of these enzymes so that we can be able to absorb our, our nutrients. So those are the, all those enzymes are found in AG Fibery to help you with your digestion. Next, we have something called resistant mal maltodextrin. And as you can see there, it's a soluble dietary fiber. There's a lot about it. It can fulfill a consumer's desire for tasty and have you know, a feeling of fullness. It is low, you know, low in calories, has no sugar added. You know, so I went to check where, where does this come from? And I realized it is, uh, it, it's very good. It, it enhances your gut health. It improves digestion problems, prevents diabetes and obesity, helps good bacteria grow and stay balanced. And of course it promotes bowel movement. So that's what it is. It's, it's very important for our digestion as well. And then we came to papain. And papain is available in raw papaya, as you can see. It's, a, it's, it's an enzyme found in the white fluid or rather the lactis that, that occurs in the raw purple, the white fluid that you see in the raw purple. It helps reduce pain inflammation and swelling. It helps to improve digestion and treat infection, diarrhea and allergies. It helps to break down protein as well. It contains a substance that might help fight infection and heal wounds. It may bring, you know, provide relief to people with indigestion, as you can see there, it's, it's, it's an anti-inflammatory and antioxidant. You know, it, it lowers oxidative stress and inflammation. Again, I've said it may help with digestion and sore throat, may reduce pain and uh, muscular soreness, may even support dental health, and it's very good for the brain. So all these ingredients are found in AG Fibery. All these ingredients are found in AG Fibery. So why consume AG Fibery? Very good for the heart. Very good in managing your weight. Very, very good. Actually, it ensures that your sugar levels remain you know, well balanced, your cholesterol levels. It you know, works on your fat and all. It's, we are going to hear a few testimonies about it. It will improve your digestive health. If you want to avoid constipation, this is the go-to uh, you know, uh, product that we have. And it tastes very, very well. It, it tastes very nice. You can taste the fruit in it. It has tropical fruit as well. I just mentioned a few of the ingredients. And let me show you how it looks like so that... Um, you can see. This is it. I hope you can see this. Let me just switch on some light. Aha. So this is how it looks like. Can you see this? It looks like this. That's how it looks like. This is the back. And it has this, this box of AG Fibery has 10 sachets. And this is how they look like. They are quite uh, big not like the AG Sarah. And you take one sachet a day, take one sachet a day, uh, you open the contents, and this one we mix in water, room temperature water. We don't take with hot water, you don't take it by itself. You're going to mix it in 150 ml of water 
and take it in the evening. It is best taken after dinner, you know? Uh, sorry, do we take it after dinner or before dinner? We'll hear from people's testimony. But um, take it like about eight o'clock because within about eight hours, it will have started working. For some people, even they say within six hours, they, they feel the urge to go to the toilet. And I, let me not preempt, let me just wait at the end of it all so that we can get, we see whether there are a few testimonies of people who've used AG Fibery and how it has worked for them. It tastes very, very nice. You will love it when you take it, you can taste the fruits in it and your digestive system will never be you know, any better. This will work on it. So uh, it's 8.41. I don't know if I can go through the, the coffee. The coffee has only three ingredients. So if you don't mind, maybe we can just go through it very, very quickly. It just has three ingredients. And uh, I thought it would be nice just to know about it so that you can get it over and done with. So that next week we'll see what other uh, products we can tackle. I, I, is it everyone in, okay if we can go through the coffee? Maybe I can hear from one or two people. Hello. Hello. Yes, is, okay? is that okay? okay. Yes, it is. Okay, let me share the, the document or the slide. Just one minute. Okay, can you see that? Can you see that image? Yes, we can. Yeah. Yes, ah, we, very can. Yes, we can. Very, very good. Okay, so that is a coffee that uh, we have. It's called Butter Butterscotch Coffee. It's an instant coffee with a few ingredients. And the ingredients are gingo biloba, uh, we have omega-3, of course, there's a coffee in it, and we have stevia, the natural uh, sugar. So those are the three ingredients, and we'll just go through very quickly the benefits. Uh, we'll go through what is here. It's just a flyer that I have, and then if there's anything else to be added, I'll add to it. So as you can see, the health benefits of gingo biloba uh, Gingo biloba, biloba is, is native to China and it helps improve cognitive, as in the brain function. It also alleviates the symptoms of anxiety. So when you take our coffee, you really relax. It improves blood flow to the brain. It acts as an antioxidant. It supports vision and eye health. Very, very good for your vision. It's recommended for men. It's very good for their sexual dysfunction. Men and women, let me not just say men alone. So it treats sexual dysfunction. It helps fight inflammation in arthritis, irritable bowel disease, you know, the inflammatory diseases, cancer, heart disease, stroke. It improves circulation and heart health. It can even treat your headaches and migraines and a lot more. I just picked a few benefits. Next down there, we have stevia. Uh, uh, you can see the gingo biloba there. I just wanted to go up there so that you can see the gingo biloba. And now we have stevia, it's a leaf. Uh, and it's a long green herbal plant native to South America natural sugar, it has more than 40 times, it's more than 40 times sweeter than sugar, but does not affect the blood sugar levels. Has lots of benefits, as you can see, controls diabetes. It helps in weight loss. It will regulate your blood pressure and promote oral health. It has no negative side effects, very useful to, for diabetes, of course, as I've said there, rich in antioxidants, will help eliminate free radicals. Uh, 
lower cholesterol levels, you know, and this oral health, it will reduce bacteria formation in your mouth. It may prevent cavities. That's why it's, we say it promotes oral health. It improves skin care. Very useful against eczema. May help prevent osteoporosis. It's anti-diarrhea. It's anti-hyperglycemic. It's an anti-inflammatory. And that is stevia, amazing, amazing ingredient. We have the last ingredient and we are soon finishing. <clears throat> and this is omega-3 and we know omega-3s have very many properties. They help improve risk factors for the heart disease. It will fight the depression anxiety, and anxiety. Very good for the eyes and help improve bone and joint health fight inflammation, and of course, improves overall health and longevity. Uh, Omega-3 is found in the, you know, in uh, the fatty fish, like the salmon and those sardines and tuna, and they are found in the very, very cold, you know, the cold uh, part of the ocean. That's where you find the salmon. It has been shown to boost infant brain health, very good for the brain, by the way, and help autoimmune diseases like lupus, multiple cirrhosis, inflammatory bowel disease, rheumatoid arthritis. It's said to protect against Alzheimer's and eases cancer treatment side effects. And that is our coffee. It's, it's very, very nice. It comes, uh, I think it has uh, 12, Let's see, it has 12 servings, 12 servings. And let me stop sharing so that you can see how it looks like. I don't have the box, but it's in a box almost like the AG Fibery. But this is how the sachet looks like, almost the same size as AG Fibery. So you just use one sachet in 150 ml of hot water. This now you use in hot water. After all, it's a coffee, very, very nice. For, consume, for members, it goes for 2,280 for the 12 sachets. I forgot, and of course, if you want to retail it, it's, uh, you can retail at 3,200, but for the member, it's 2,280. I forgot to mention that the AG Fibery goes for 3,000 shillings for a member. It's, it's really nice. And uh, I don't know if I told you how many Sorry, I, I don't know whether I said it had 10 sachets, but it has 14 sachets, not, not 10. And if you want to recommend it to someone who's not a member and you want to retail it, then it goes for 5,000 shillings, up to 5,000 shillings. So it's, it's up to you. But as a member, you'll buy it at 3,000. So those are the two uh, products I had today for us. And at this point, before we wind up, I would like to invite Anyone who has used any of our products, if you've used AG, AG Fibery, AG, uh, the butter scotch, or any other product, we are not limited to testimonies of only these two that I've talked about. I would like anyone to come out and talk about the AG, or whatever, whatever ingredient, whatever products that we have used. For me, I have used both of them, and I love them. I love the AG Fibery. It, it has really given me relief. As I said earlier on, I'm lactose intolerant and uh, my daughter is also lactose intolerant. She, uh, for her, she was diagnosed when she was a, a baby from five months. And so we couldn't give her milk. I couldn't understand what this was all about. I had never come across someone who doesn't take milk in totality. I didn't like milk, but I could tolerate it in tea. Uh, but later on, uh, the past 15 years, I was, I've not been able to do that. And so I have seen, you know, what one goes through. I have felt what one goes through when, when you can't, when you're not able to digest lactose, you, you have the blottedness, you, you know, it, and it lasts for days on ends. Uh, some people diarrhea. My daughter has suffered the most of it because she really cannot take anything with milk. 
And I, I thank God nowadays there's lactose free milk, but uh, I was happy to come across this because sometimes you're not able to tell when people have used milk in their food. You could go to a function and, and, and you know, someone tells you there's no milk or you forget and you eat something. It could be a mandazi, could be a cake, even something as simple as some ice cream. They have used, you know, the milk powder that has the lactose. And there you go. You will only know after about half an hour that you have taken something with milk. Sometimes you're not even sure where you took it. But when you have a fibery, it really sorts you out. So yeah, for me, that's the part that stands out for me. So I've opened the floor to anyone else who would like to share about AG fibery or, or AG rosy or anything. You're not limited to what I'm talking about. We want to learn from each other. So the floor is open. Karibuni sana. Let me see who I have. And I don't want to call out names. I just want you to be able to just talk from your own experience. Karibu Nisana. Yes, Karibu. And please put on your video when you would like to see you, if possible. Good evening. Good evening. How are Karibu? Okay. Yeah, fine. Hi. My name is Nudu. I have used uh, most of the AG products and especially the Fibari. I was really looking forward to using it because I've been on a weight loss program and I decided to take it. So I took it at night, the last thing before I went to bed. And because I knew it, it's supposed to work eight hours after. I took it and uh, early morning from around 4.35, my stomach was really grumbling, grumbling. And you know, just a twitch of a little pain, but I, I, I bared it and I went to sleep. Then I woke up in the morning and I had told myself I'm not leaving the house because I had been told don't leave the house. So that day, my I went for my bowel I went around four times in that particular day because I didn't that is not was not usual for me and it was quite a bit and I was like phew I didn't know I had so much that in me so for that one the first day by the time evening reached and the day was over I went to sleep and I felt ah, I'm good now I'm good I think I've removed everything and you see what I did not know is that when you take fibery, the enzyme stays in your body for three days. So the enzyme is still there cleansing you. So I managed to think that I was fine for that day. The next day I decided to go to the salon. And while I was sitting there at around half midday, I started feeling, um, hey, my stomach has started again. It's really grumbling. So I asked the lady whether how the toilet was. And she said, yeah, there's a toilet, it's okay. But you know, when I went to the toilet, I really didn't like it. So I decided, uh, let me go finish and then I'll be able to go home. So while I was sitting, uh, I felt like uh, after about 20 minutes, I felt like, no, 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 no. Cause it's not so far away from my house. So I decided, let me just walk home. I told her, let me go home. I'm coming, uh, I'm not feeling good, my stomach. I started rushing, going home. By the time I got to my gate, the best thing is that that day I had worn the tight jeans trousers. By the time I got to the gate, it was already coming out. By the time I got to the house, I was such a mess. I had to literally go straight to the bathroom, peel out my clothes, sit there. And I sat there for a good 20 minutes, just emptying everything. After that, I was able to now have a shower, properly and stay in the house. I didn't even leave the house and I was half finished. So I just called and I told her, I'll just see you tomorrow. Cause I, I couldn't talk on the phone and tell her what had happened. So that was my experience that day. And after all that, even like on the next day, I just told myself, I really don't want to leave the house. And after the whole ordeal, after the three days, I was actually feeling lighter. I was feeling lighter, so I knew. Now, I was even wary to take it again. So I said, I'll wait a couple of more days 
two more days and then I can continue with the with the program and I continued I finished and you actually feel really light you feel you just feel good it's like a load is off your your body yeah so I think it's really good I've recommended a lot of people and I know a lot of women are buying because those are the people I get to meet all the time. People take three boxes, others take, maybe especially if they're on a weight loss program. And then um, about uh, the coffee, I naturally just love coffee. I love coffee so much. I love the butterscotch so much. I love the Max coffee. And it makes, just, it makes me feel light. It makes me feel good. I just think my body is feeling good. But my love for coffee is what has driven me to keep taking and keep taking. Yeah, so that's all I have for today. Good night, everyone. Thank you, Anne. That's fantastic. Thank you very much. Any other testimony you, you're free to share on anything? Not necessarily Fibery. She chose to do that. The floor is open. Let's have more testimonies just so that we can learn from each other. Karibuni sana. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for you that well. presentation. Yes, please. Can we see you? Ah, great. <laughs> nice to so, meet you. Um, I've oh, been yes. on this for some time. I think I can only I can talk about AG Sarah. It's really helped with the, a knee problem I used to have. I used to have a lot of pain in my knee, climbing up the stairs, going down the stairs. I think it must have been an injury, a sports injury from some time back. And AG Sarah just cleared it. I think after like two boxes, I couldn't, I'm, it's just a miracle because I've had that pain for so many years and it's, it's just gone. I no longer have it. Sometimes when I even don't take the AG Sarah, it's still not there. But uh, I still go on with AG Sarah once in a while, at least when uh, when I'm able to. So it's it's definitely something I I, I love. And for the fibrin, I think I'll just uh, echo what the previous uh, speaker has said. Uh, that thing can really in a kukimbiza kweli kweli. So I think I took it only once. And then I decided, hey, let me take a break. But it was really, really effective. I can really vouch for that. Uh, thank you very much for your presentations. Thank you, Salome. Thank you for your testimony. God bless you. Any other testimony or something, or even questions? We don't mind. We, we can be able to share and, and answer to the best that we can. Questions, observations, or testimony. The floor is still open. A few more minutes. Hi, hi everyone. Hi, Isaac. Karibu sana. Yeah, Santi. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hey, happy, happy to, happy to see a few guys. Uh, Sally, uh, Karibu sana. Uh, mm -hmm. I met Sally. Sally is a good friend of mine for a very long time. Uh, she used to come for my Zumba classes. And uh, she's somebody who saw me keep posting this uh, thing on my status. And uh, she was like, does this thing really work? And um, she said, she's, she's tried a few things here and there. They did not work. And I said, uh, from my own personal experience, given that I'm a fitness instructor, uh, I find a lot of energy uh, when I started uh, using AG Sarah. And so I just said, uh, for me, it has really worked. Uh, it, may, it has made me look some 10, 20 years younger, what people normally say. And um, so, yeah, she said, let me try it. And uh, she called me and she asked me like, Aizu, what does this thing have? And I was like, uh, why? I became a bit worried. But she said, you know, this thing looks like it has something else more than just what maybe has been written here because I've had something with me for years and it is gone. And I'm happy today that uh, she's actually sharing that because I know 
these are concerns that a lot of people do have here and there. Uh, personally, uh, how I got uh, involved with, uh, with uh, AG Nutrition as a company, it's uh, my sister who has been uh, arthritic for quite a while. And even during the day at one, my sister would actually just wear lots of jackets like those guys for Boda Boda because of the, you know, the joint pains and cold and all that. But it really, really worked amazing for her. Uh, I've also tried uh, the coffee, you know, butterscotch, and uh, it's amazing. A nice aroma uh, makes you feel, you know, it just have a nice good feel. It's not like any other coffee. I've taken a few coffees here and there, but uh, I found this being a bit more, um, it, it keeps you alert. It makes me run around uh, and not feeling that I'm worn out. I always say like on Wednesdays, I normally do two classes, my two Zumba classes. I wake up in the morning, I'll rush to uh, somewhere at Stedmark, do a class, 8.30, 9.30 run around the whole day, then go back again and do another class six to seven. And guys keep asking me like, okay, where do you get all this energy? I would honestly give it a big thumb for this product, about uh, what I've tried, uh, the AG Serra, the Mex Coffee. And uh, recently I also tried uh, Brock. And I can say it's something that uh, it's good uh, for someone also to try it because tastes is different and I, a bit of also a bit of a different feel that you know some things are actually a bit a bit hard to explain but that feel good that you wake up in the morning you're there during the day you're doing your ups and downs and in the evening you're still looking like okay just like you've just woken up or you still look fresh, okay? I give it to my young boys and uh, I can't remember when they had uh, a cold because it's something that has really worked on them. Um, I've got a cousin, I've got a nephew, a nephew in Kisi who has a child who has CP, cerebral palsy. And you know, with that condition, uh, the muscle they get to, and especially when you look at them, the, the, the young ones will, uh, with their necks, they'll be kind of a bit, um, they can't hold, as in the, the muscle around the, the neck cannot hold uh, for a long time. And so other, other places as well. But what he found is that, uh, within the first box that he gave the child wasn't the neck wasn't really dropping off as fast as it has always been at least now it can hold for for a while and the child is a bit more stronger even when standing the boy the the girl can now do a few more walks nicely without really kind of staggering around so i would say as everybody has always said, what and keep still asking, what is this? Is it that is has made these are uh, pro uh, these are uh, products this uh, powerful and kind of immediate uh, relief and effect the good feel. In general, I think it's a wonderful product. Fantastic. Thank you very thank you very much Isaac thank you very much for your testimony yes it is the products are amazing so before we close anyone else would like to share I wouldn't want to close down anybody I'd like to still open for maybe one or two people before we close you're still very welcome Karibu Karibuni. Yeah. 
maybe let me just uh, talk about Brock. Um, okay, thank you. Thank you, Lucy. Um, two weeks ago, I had one of our members who had been on a journey. She went to Mombasa and had come back to Nairobi and the next day had driven all the way to Kisi and the same day she came back at night. She got to Nairobi around 2.20. So when I woke up, I found a message on my WhatsApp and she was telling me she's feeling so sick. Her chest is really paining. She thinks she has a chest infection. So because of the journey she had been on from low altitude to high altitude, I knew that uh, it's because of the, the weather where she had been through like for the last 24 hours. So she just told me kindly when you wake up, can you please send me a brook? So what I did, I sent the rider with it. And cause uh, when, when, when I sent her the message that he's on his way, it was around 10, 10 o'clock cause she was still sleeping. So I sent him to her house and we talked, she sent me a message around 10.40, informing me that she has received it. So I told her, okay, you take it and then rest. So she decided she'll take one then, and then she'll take one at night. So after that, we did not talk. I just went about my work. Later on at around 12.30, I saw a message and she had written to me, it was like 11.52. She's like, goodness, this thing is amazing. Um, my nose is not blocked my pain in my chest is completely gone. We need to tell people about this amazing product. And I was wowed because I personally, when I took it, I think cause I'm so in love with the Gisera, I really didn't feel the difference. The difference was only the energy, but anything else I hadn't. That's when now I had to really look into it and see what is it that actually makes this product so well. And it works so well for all allergies, any allergy, any growth, it's very good with that. So that is one of the products which we should tell people to probably um, take together with a Gisera. Instead of taking two Gisera's at a go, take one of Brock and one of, um, of a Gisera. They'll really work wonders. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you. Thank you once more, Anne. God bless you. Asante sana. Okay, thank you, dear. Okay. So unless there's another uh, another testimony, which would be good to have. I don't know what you feel. Anyone with a burning one before we end the session? Anybody? Uh, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Can we see oh, your camera? Can we see you on camera, please, if possible? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Thank you. Karibusana. Uh, I was introduced uh, to this product by Isaac. Uh -huh. We've been in Zuba class together. And I can also say that yes. I can attest to what everyone has said that it is an amazing product. I had a very slow digestion system and I used Fibari. The first one, the first two packets I used with Fibari and it was able to sort that out to date. I don't have that problem. And it is something that I've had to an extent of being hospitalized. But right now it has worked so, so well. And right now I don't have any problem like that. Uh, but my question is how fast can one use the Fibari? Because I think it's two months ago I used it. Two months ago. Please repeat your question again. How? I just wanted to find out whether yes. one can repeat this after two months. Because I used Fibari two months ago. Yes. And it is something that I would want to use to at least yes. clean my crown again. Yes. You can use it. Uh, you can use it. I mean, it is food-based. You can certainly use it again. And uh, let me see, I want to see if there's a member here who I can call upon to just add on a little bit. Uh, 
can I call upon Charity, please? Charity, are you able to add a little bit to it? To her question, she's asking if she can use it again. Karibu Charity. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi, Charity. Uh, hi, hi, everyone. Hi. Um, I'm Karibu. happy to be with you people. I've really been looking forward to joining this Zoom. And uh, today, I think I'm a little lucky because I'm out of town. And what I would want to add is say, and say is that there's no harm. Lucy, like you say, it is uh, food-based. There's no harm. You can use edges, I mean, you can use the edgy fibery even every month, there's no problem. So she can continue using it. And I always advise that every quarter it is good to detoxify because it does a lot of detoxification. And I keep saying that we never change the water that we drink. We never change the air that we breathe. We never change the foods that we eat. So we all know that they, are, they have a lot of uh, toxins. And so it's advisable that after every, six weeks it's good to take a packet of ag fiber thank you lucy sorry charity i i discovered i had muted myself i was saying any testimony before we close down now that you're here with us one last testimony and then we can call it a night Okay. Hi, Lucy. Yes, you want me to give a testimony. Yeah, just one last testimony and then we close it. We call it a night. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Lucy. I think okay. I have a testimony for almost every product that we use in AG. But uh, for those that have never met me or known, known about me, is that I'm a beneficiary of AG products. I haven't have suffered the sleep discs. I have four discs that detached in the year 2002. And I was also a victim of blood pressure. And through the use of AG Sarah, I've really benefited, in fact, from the use of the first three sachets. To date, which is about two and a half years, I've never had issues. I've never had, I've never been on painkillers and I'm no longer on blood pressure medication. So I think for me, I would advise that let us all be on the product. The other thing I would want to share is about the AG Rosie. When you use the AG Rosie, you are actually able to keep uh, all from hormonal imbalance, the hot flashes, the funny moods, the anger. And let me say that what I've experienced with the products is that when you use all the products, you don't have anger at all. It doesn't much, matter how, how much workload you have or what is happening around you. You are able to handle everything with ease. So mine is to encourage that let us go out there and uh, transform lives because our products, like I've heard you talk about the, celeb the cerebral palsy. We've been able to give our products to people with the uh, epilepsy. We've given to people with the um, sickle cell. So I think we have an amazing product, Lucy. We, and I appreciate that uh, you're training us more on the ingredients so that we have, we'll be able to understand the products even better. So my colleagues, my friends, family, let us go out there and transform people's lives. Thank you very much, Lucy. I think that's what I would want to share for now. Thank you so much, Charity. And thank you, Salome, for your message. I have seen it where you're saying you are waiting for a testimony about Rosie. There you go. And um, uh, this has been an amazing class. Thank you for making time to be here with me. It also encourages me a lot. And I pray that we can go out and share what we are learning with others out there. People are looking for something and we do have the information. So uh, because time has gone on, I think we shall end there and we shall meet again next week on Tuesday for the business presentation. I want to apologize once more that yesterday I couldn't make it. Uh, it was beyond my control, but next week, Tuesday, hopefully we shall be together. And of course, Wednesday we'll be together. And before we wind down, I just want to remind us again that on the 23rd of July, we're going to have the founders of AG Nutrition as a company. They are coming into Kenya. 
we shall be having a very big meeting in uh, Saint, uh, in All Saints Cathedral, the auditorium. There's a very big hall there for all of us. We're asking you, please invite your guests, please come bring even your new members, everybody, because this is the first time the founders are coming into Africa. They have chosen Kenya because Kenya is, is leading in the business in Africa. So we are very privileged to have them. Let's come and learn more about this company, where it came from, why, what was their dream? What are they hoping to achieve? We This is a chance that we cannot miss. So 23rd July, let's be in uh, all Saints Auditorium. For those who are members, we have a dress code. If you can just uh, come in with us, we want to dress up in blue, one of our edgy colors, the, the navy blue with a touch of bread. So come and let's just make that day a great day. Thank you very much for making the time and may God bless you. Good night. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you.